What's up everybody, Wild Brawl is about to end in a few days, so I wanted to make a video regarding the direction Monster Never Cry seems to be going with these specific events. So far we've seen the Easter event, we've seen the Dendrofest event, and now we have the Wild Brawl event. They are all basically exact replicas of each other, minus a few things one has that another doesn't, whether that's through rewards, problems such as bugs, or just stuff to do. As usual, I'm going to give my giraffe take and what I really hope happens for the next big event, which is most likely the summer update. Let's get it. <laughs> Now before I mine away at the Wild Brawl, here is the three templates for the events I mentioned at the beginning side by side. So you can clearly see they are basically the same. Each has one mini game, sign in rewards, one game mode I guess you can call it, one game board, and then one feature to use the event currency on for rewards. Now if you weren't playing at the time of the Easter event, that sucks because it's been by far the best one in terms of really everything, mainly due to the Song of Prayer that had very good potential rewards for the gem cost such as a chance for monster skin tickets. Now I do understand this was a holiday event, but when you're not changing up the template other than reskinning it, why wouldn't players compare them together? One topic of discussion is the minigames. Easter event had the egg merger, strategy was needed, plus of course there was some RNG involved in terms of what egg would be next. Dendrofest had extreme darts, no strategy really was needed, it just came down to who had quick reactions, the better phone slash network, and of course there was RNG involved with the placement of the next dartboard or boards. And now Wild Brawl has the gold frenzy, some strategy involved in terms of what buffs slash debuffs you pick up, but this has been poorly optimized causing lag, overheating your phone to the point you can cook an egg on it, the most RNG in any of the minigames we've seen so far. You can do everything right, because of the RNG on the buff pickups it may prevent you from even passing the second boss. Like, it's crazy. Dendrofest and Wild Brawl are literally the same thing. I just don't like when games push the copy past or recycle button. I understand I'm a free to play player, but I've spent on games in the past, and it's not a good feeling when you're buying offers and supporting the game, only to have what looks to me like minimal effort put back into these events. For example, both of these have the same game mode being Treetop Quest and Glory Road. You fight through the mini bosses leading up to the final boss being Dracula, these are super easy to do for even relatively new accounts unless you're like week 1, then you beat all of these in under say 5 minutes and you're left there waiting for 2 days for it to reset to do the same process again. Respectfully, this is lazy coding, improve the difficulty, improve the rewards, add challenges, like do something. Also they should have allowed for Wild Brawl's game board to have the final reward as a monster skin choice chest like they did for uh, Dendrofest. The skin shop they have right now takes ages to get anything new. Now I'm not saying these events are completely a bust. The rewards I can get as a free to play are good, however for the Wild Brawl I do feel this should have been optimized to at least allow a free to play player the option to make it to the exchange reward for at least one chaotic clone doll. There's a day left and I still need over 100 adamantite ore with no way of getting it. You only get one ore per one mine, so I'm pretty sure I haven't done anything wrong as I've completed basically everything I can. Spenders for sure reaching shop level 5, yes I'm all for it. It has nice rewards as it should and they're going to be able to get those. But I mean you can't even let your free to play even get one chaotic doll? Don't even get me started on this gold frenzy mini game, I kind of explained the situation earlier, but yeah, discord user DMQ, with the dev role I might add, even made this mini game have its own thread in the game suggestions channel because of how much player negative responses I assume they were getting. Players mentioning boss hitbox issues where you lose when it's not even close to you, too much RNG involved, poorly optimized with lag, glitches, crashes, overheating. I don't know, this was just a huge frustrating mess. As much as I don't care for these minigames, the Easter egg merger still was the best one so far in my opinion. Whenever the summer update drops, I really hope for the sake of the player base it's something new. If they do plan to keep this recycled event format, you for sure can't be going backwards with having them all around being worse and worse. I've said it before, I'm not a coder, I don't know the first thing about making games, but the changes everyone is asking for cannot be rocket science. To lighten the mood a little bit right here, leave a comment down below what kind of mini game you think we're going to have for the summer update. I really do think this update will be make or break for many players, myself included. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.